for my own business, these uh, are one of the top, some of the top three things that I use. So with Facebook ads, you want to create engaging videos or image sequences. Now, depending on which market you want to capture will determine what platform you want to use. If you're doing fashion, obviously you want to use Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. Okay? If you're talking something that um, has, needs, requires a lot of education, then I would use podcasts and YouTube. How about insurance? Insurance, I would definitely do podcasts, YouTube, yeah. and Facebook. But, or, but you can always be creative, right? You can, you can always do Instagram, Instagram uh, campaigns too. And you can post YouTube videos on your Facebook as well, right? Yes, you can post YouTube uh, on Facebook. Uh, YouTube is what they call long-term, long, long-form video. And I found the most effective length would be between seven to 10 minutes on YouTube. Okay? People say that your YouTube videos need to be one minute long or else uh, people drop off. And, but then you can't teach anything in one minute. Okay? So it depends what kind of video, right? We're in, the, we're in businesses, so we have to educate customers. So YouTube is a really good way of educating customers. And usually it takes five to 10 minutes to educate somebody. Okay? So that's what I use for. Podcasts, usually uh, between 30 to 60 minutes. And what podcasts are, are usually like interviews. Interviews with, uh, or discussions about your product or about your service. Okay. Facebook ads are short, short videos or images with a very short description that um, people can engage with very easily and share with your friends. Okay. So this is more about short form. And also, you can, it's more of a personal kind of hangout. So, um, you would put your more professional looking videos on YouTube, but let's say we're doing a behind the scenes video here, then that will go into Facebook. Okay? So from, from this uh, uh, YouTube videos, you can make FAQs about your business, uh, testimonials and education. Okay? Those are three videos that are very effective for businesses. So think about the top 10 FAQs you have about your products or business. You probably already have it, right? Just convert that into video form. Just get a white wall behind it. You don't need a green screen or just a blank wall or in your office with a you know, not too cluttered background or maybe with your company logo or company um, sign in the background and just answer the top 10 FAQs on video and make those titles on a video. Instantly, not only do you save time to having to answer your questions for, to, to customers, now people can engage with you personally. As, at least that's how they perceive it, right? You're not personally there, but for them, it seems like it. That's how it works with YouTube, right? Um, and testimonials, now people can see and hear from other customers, and that automatically builds their trust without you doing an extra effort. And education, okay? So what are the things they need to know? So FAQ is like this. What are the questions that they ask and what are the questions that you want them to ask? Two kinds of FAQs. You want to have both. Make sense? Okay. Uh, podcast. Okay. So you want to funnel all these things into a webinar. Who, who's watched a webinar before? Okay. So uh, I think you would be familiar with how those work. So webinar is basically your sales presentation. If you do um, any meetings or present to a group or a company or a house or a household, now you're, you're doing it through a, a video form. Okay? And you can make it simple or you can make it uh, full production. That's up to you. Okay? Once you get to a webinar, then you can either send them directly to a product page where it lists your products they can buy or a place that they can fill out a form and become a lead. From there, once you get the lead, and once you get the webinar registration, we have their email, we have their Facebook uh, messenger, or we have their uh, phone number, if they filled out the phone number in here. So we can create email campaigns, Facebook messenger campaigns, and also text message campaigns that go out automatically to follow up with your customer. Because how many people are going to buy from you the first time that you talk to them. 
they say that it takes seven points of contact, right? Seven points of contact before somebody actually buys. After you created the lead, usually there's a pre-qualifying call. Uh, I don't know how you guys have your lead generation system set up, but this is how I do it. Usually there's a pre-qualifying message or call before we um, pass them to the actual salesperson because we don't want a salesperson's time wasted on answering preliminary questions or talking to prospects that don't have money or things like that, right? So once you have that, then, we're going to then you want to distribute the lead to the uh, salesperson. And once the lead is accepted, you create an appointment and the sale is completed. Okay, so once they become a, a customer, you want to get them to promote your product to their friends and family and become your sales, best salesperson. And um, now you create community engagement events. For example, you can have events, contests, promotions, stories to uh, encourage them to re refer their friends and make it more of a community. Like I said, create that cause, right? Make that cause um, admission and purpose behind your product and behind, behind your community. Thank you.